guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am giving myself a 24 hour glow up. Guys, I am not kidding when I say over the last two weeks, I have been the biggest slump in the entire world. I just haven't taken care of myself. I've been sitting on the couch watching TV, drinking boba every single day. And with it being a new year, I want to give myself a little transformation. I want to leave my 2021 self behind. I literally have so many appointments today that I'm so excited for. Not only do I have a nail appointment today, I have eyelash extension appointments. I also have a facial appointment and a hair laser removal appointment today. Today. We're also gonna dress cute, look all fancy today, and maybe take some photos finally. I have not taken any photos on Instagram in so long. If you guys haven't seen my videos before, make sure you guys are subscribed. Go follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already, but without further ado, let's go ahead and start this epic transformation because your girl is ready to look cute finally. All right, let's go. All right, guys, as you guys can see, first things first, we need to start doing something about this hair. I just woke up, haven't brushed it or anything, so let me go grab a hairbrush and some texture spray and fix this baby up. All right, just grabbed all the things that I need. I have my hairbrush. I also have my Living Proof Dry Volume and Texture Spray. Guys, I am obsessed with this thing. I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. P.S. Today's video is sponsored by Living Proof. I'm sorry, I look like an actual rat right now, but I promise you guys, after I use this product, I'm gonna look so good. So we're gonna brush out this hair. I'm only gonna spray half my hair just so you guys can see how well this works. Oh my God, you guys can see the volume already on one side. Also, Matt just got home, but we're gonna do the other side. You're up at 10.30 working, new year. Literally, I'm doing a new me, new year video. That's so funny you say that. I'm gonna do a hairstyle later after I get back from the nail salon and my eyelash extension appointment. So I'm not gonna fully do my hair, but I do wanna add some texture and get rid of all that excess oil that I have. Your hair looks so thick. It's literally the spray. It looks so like... Guys, even Matt notices. All right, so that's my hair with some texture. So I'm gonna get dressed and get ready for the day, but if you guys wanna check out Living Proof, I'll have a link for you guys down below. You guys should definitely check them out. I feel like my hair's thinned out a lot ever since going blonde, and now it just looks nice and thick again. So we are gonna go change because I have to go to all of my appointments. All right, guys, I just changed. Honestly, I feel really cute right now. Wow, just changing into a cuter outfit makes me feel so much better already. All right, guys, we are here at my lash extension appointment. I am so excited for it. Look at these lashes. I haven't done lash extensions in exactly two years. We are gonna try to get really curly lashes, but I don't want crazy lashes. I don't wanna look like an insect is laying eggs on my eyeballs. So we're gonna try to do something a little more natural. Guys, I think I hate them. I, I look like a, oh my God. That's not what I wanted. I wanted single lashes and she ended up doing the bloom lashes, which is like four pieces or four lashes per eyeball. Oh my God, it's too much. It's too much. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I called her back which is so scary for me to do. I called her back and I said, could I come by later and get some taken off because they feel really heavy. So right now I'm gonna go to my hand appointment and before I do that, I actually have to shave my hands. So the laser I'm getting done today is called Laser Genesis. It's really, really good for your skin. It really helps with minimizing your pore sizes. It also helps with any tissue scarring from acne. So if you guys struggle with acne, this is probably the best thing to do. I've done this before, but I haven't done it in probably a year. So I think it's time to get a touch up. All right guys, so I need to shave my hands and I don't have any lotion with me. This would probably be a best time to have lotion. <gasps> oh my God. You know what? I'm gonna use this as like a lubricant. This is lidocaine spray. It's like a numbing spray. This is like perfect if you are going to get any sort of hair laser removal. When they get around my knuckles, when they're doing hair laser removal on them, it is like the most painful thing I've ever felt in my entire life. So I need to actually spray my hands. You can get this literally at CVS or anything. It honestly makes your hands feel really moisturized, which is perfect because I need to shave them. Not me in my car shaving my hands with caterpillars hanging it out on my eyeballs. Is it okay? Oh yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, not bad, right? Great. Hey guys, 
So I'm feeling much better. I just got my facial and it was so freaking relaxing. But right now I'm on my way to get my nails done. I'm so excited to get a gel manicure and a pedicure. I have not gotten a professional gel manicure in so long. I've been doing my own gel nails since the pandemic. So your girl is finally treating herself. I think I'm just gonna do something like very straightforward and easy, like just white nails or something. Nails are done, they look so cute. I got my toes done as well, but no free feet content for y'all. Normally I do fun designs, but because I was getting it done at a nail salon, I just feel like I should just keep it simple. It's just plain, but cute. Now Matt can uh, propose. <clears throat> Um, because my nails are done. Just kidding. That probably won't happen for like another year or two. But we are back on our way to my eyelash extensions person. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna feel so awkward. All right, guys, I just got out of the eyelash extensions again. We spent like 30 minutes taking out some lashes. It still looks like there's a lot of lashes. I think it looks a little bit better. Honestly, can't tell the difference, but I know she spent like 30 minutes taking them out, so I'm sure she took out probably 10%. I honestly, I ended up paying her another $25 as like a tip for like her time. She also deserves it. Like I really genuinely just like her as a person. It's a little bit better. So we're gonna go home and transform a little more. What is freaking up? It is the next day now, and we are on day two of giving myself a 2022 makeover. Guys, I think I overreacted yesterday. I definitely hated my lashes yesterday, but now that I've been kind of stuck with my lashes for like 24 hours now, I like them. And once I have makeup on and everything, I think it's gonna look even better. But my confidence is definitely up a little more. Like yesterday, I was feeling like a four. I feel like a five and a half. But by the end of the day, we're trying to aim for a 10. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm up to. I blow dried my hair and everything, and I'm gonna do my hair in a little bit. But for now, I need to whiten my teeth. I've been whitening my teeth with my Invisalign aligners and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. My orthodontist assistant really likes me and we've become friends that he let me take this home and I'm not supposed to use it. I'm gonna use this for about 30 minutes so that my teeth look a little bit whiter. I feel like they've been yellowing so fast, probably because of all the boba I'm drinking. Whitening your teeth with aligners is amazing. I will never go back to whitening without aligners. So I put a little dot of carbamide peroxide on every single tooth and I'm just gonna click that in. Set timer for 35 minutes, okay? And so while I wait for my teeth whitening to work, I am gonna do my skincare routine. I am gonna first dermaplane my face. I do this about once a month if you guys have never tried this before. I highly suggest doing it. It really helps exfoliate your face, but also helps with any peach fuzz. I just like the way it makes my skincare and makeup feel afterwards. So we're just gonna do this together. Can you guys hear that? It's so satisfying. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna shave the rest of my face and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Look how much hair there is. All the hair on my fingers. <laughs> It's so gross, but it's so satisfying. So I am gonna do the rest of my skincare routine. The first thing I'm gonna do is a chemical exfoliant. So I'm gonna get my face wet really fast. I'm just gonna apply a little, just like a little pea size amount. And you can feel this product working. It kind of burns your face a little bit, but I love that feeling. Honestly, my face, ever since getting that facial yesterday, it feels so healthy. It literally looks like I have nothing on my skin, but I'm gonna let that sit for two minutes and then we're gonna wash that off. I'm gonna do a little bit of toner. I'm using this Facial Treatment Clear Lotion by SK2. This is like a sample version, but I really like this product that I wanna get the full size version, except the full size version is like 90 bucks. All right, next step in my skincare routine. I've really dialed down my skincare routine. I feel like I used to use like 12 products every single day. Dow. I, feel, I felt like I used to use 12 products every single day, but now I just use like five products every day. Right now I'm using an essence that contains CBD in it. There's this like TikToker that I watched that always is slapping her face. So we're gonna try that today. She like pats in all of her skincare routine and she has really good skin. So maybe that works. I look so glowy. Maybe she's onto something. Slap that into my skin again. Last step I like to use is a ceramide serum. Ceramide really helps with redness in your skin. 
And you better believe I'm gonna pat that into my skin. All right guys, I am done patting all of my skincare into my face. My face feels like a baby's butt. That feels so freaking smooth. All right, next step. I wish I did this more often, but I don't do it as often. This is a facial roller. It kind of looks not safe for work, but I promise you it is. I wanna see if I can notice a difference if I just do one half of my face. Oh, this is like the best thing ever. You wanna go in one direction upwards. Okay, wait. Am I imagining it or do I see a difference? I definitely see a difference. I can't tell if it's in my head. Please let me know down below if you guys see a difference as well. But I think there's a difference between this side. It kind of looks more defined. This one, not so much. I just know it feels great, which is why I do it. I need to take these out. It's been 35 minutes now. Oh my God. <gasps> they definitely look wider. They look great. I don't know if I can see that. I see a different. All right, I'm gonna brush my teeth. They feel really gross right now, so let's brush my teeth. All right guys, I just brushed my teeth and my teeth look so white. All right guys, it is time for makeup. I've been doing my makeup the same forever and ever now, but I've just watched a couple of TikTok videos on how to properly contour my face. So we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna see how this looks. I've been watching Kristen Dominique, by the way. I love her TikTok. She's amazing at makeup and she's one of my friends. I think we're friends. Like we're like acquaintances more than friends. She's just drop dead gorgeous. And I just love the way she does her makeup. So we're gonna try to copy her. I don't normally like to wear really heavy foundations, but I figured for this makeup look, maybe we're gonna actually wear foundation. Yeah, we're gonna do foundation today. All right. All right, foundation is on. I am gonna do concealer next. She does her concealer a little differently and I don't know if I wanna try it cause she literally does like a lot. Mm, maybe I'll try it. She does a line like that and then another line like that. A little weird, but we'll see. I think I put the line too high. I think I was supposed to go underneath. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna erase that. Ooh, I like that though. All right, concealer is done. Now it's time for the contour. This is like the fun part for me. I put my contour a little higher than most people would. Like, this is the hollow of my cheek. That's right above it. Ever since finding the contour one from Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like makeup has just been so much easier and so much more fun for me to play around with. Okay, there's all the dots I put around my face to contour it, and I'm just gonna blend that in. I think I'm just gonna fast forward the rest of my makeup, but that's how I do my base layer, and I'm just gonna do my makeup how I normally do it. Nothing's changed. Makeup is done. It looks so good. I definitely can't remember the last time I was this glam. Okay, so now that my makeup is done, it's time for my hair. It looks really lifeless after I wash my hair. I just get, have the flattest hair possible. So I'm gonna do these cute little waves. I wanna make my hair wavy like that. I don't exactly know how to do it. I watched a couple YouTube videos on it. I've seen her doing it with like a hair straightener. Like she just looks like a K-pop star with the wavy hair. But first, I need to add some texture back into my hair because it's pretty lifeless right now. So of course, I'm gonna be using the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. Again, today's video is sponsored by Living Proof. I absolutely love their products. This contains patented technology that literally increases the space between individual hair fibers so that your hair is nice and socially distanced. I also like to use it as a heat protectant as well. It protects your hair up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. You should never be baking your hair at 410 degrees anyways. I do the max like 350, 375. Look how much texture I have on this side versus this side. I love this product so much. But yeah, you can use this while your hair is nice and dry. If you have oily hair, it'll help absorb some of the oils as well, which is amazing. Also, it provides buildable, no slip grip as well, so you guys can do all your hairstyles. For me, when I have squeaky clean hair, I feel like my hair falls flat all the time or it slips out. It just gives you that perfect like beachy, lived-in texture. All right, look how much volume I have in my hair. 
I am gonna spray some in my ends as well just to add a little more texture But if you guys want to check out this product, I highly suggest it go to lp.com or ulta.com or sephora.com They officially launched on January 18th. So go check it out. Okay I just watched a tutorial on how to do this again. And I just tried it and it kind of worked Set me free got a hang of how to do it i think the problem is i was just doing it without any confidence and with anything in life you just gotta fake it till you make it so the best way to do it is just to go really smoothly so that you don't get chunks in your hair we're gonna grab it horizontally pull up all right now that we have a hold of it just So cute. That's all you have to do. So with the top layer, you're gonna snake your hair into an S. And this is so that the top layer is like really pretty. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You're pretty much gonna snake your hair into the curling iron. So it's wavy. Yeah, so you're just gonna snake your hair like this. And it just looks so cute and pretty, okay. All right, hair is done, you guys. So this is what my hair looks like, wavy. They should fall out within the next couple of hours. So my hair kind of flattened out on the top. So I'm gonna add a little more spray to the top. And I'm also gonna take a hair crimper. I've never done this before, but we're gonna try this out. And I'm only doing this because I saw a K-pop star was doing this and I wanna try it out for myself. Yeah, that didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the hair. Feeling really cute now. All of a sudden, I feel like a solid seven. We still gotta put on cute clothes to feel like a solid 10, but for now, this works really well. All right, well, I've given myself a nice little makeover. I figured this would be a good time to clean my room, give it a little mini transformation of being dirty to clean. We're gonna clean the room a little bit and make the bed and everything just for my mental health. I feel like this year, I wanna focus on keeping my life organized. I'm really into feng shui lately, and feng shui really means to just to let to energy flow. Energy can't flow within disorganized messes. So we're gonna try to clean this up a little bit. Space is so hard to find. You don't want to say hi? I get it. All right, now that my room is nice and clean, I think it's time for me to get changed. Callie and I are going to take some Instagram photos, and I want to have, like, a very sophisticated outfit. Don't know exactly what that means, but we'll figure something out. Let me grab some options, and I'll be right back. All right, so I kind of don't want to do a preppy winter look, so we have some options here. First things first, we are... Sorry, shark. We are going to put on some pants. One, two, three... All right, pants are on. These pants are from Aritzia. I actually own four pairs of these. I wanna do like a layered look. So we have this button down that I got from TJ Maxx. And then we also have this oversized sweater vest from Princess Polly. All right, let's put her on. All right, shirt is on. All right, here is the oversized sweater vest. Let's put her on. All right, top is on. Honestly, I don't know if I love the fact that this is a very cool white and this is very creamy. I might change this top. I just feel like this is too matronly and I just look too hot to be wearing this outfit. So we're gonna change the top into this little itty bitty cardigan that's from White Fox. So let's put this baby on. All right, I think I like this way more. This is definitely the vibe. Do the bucket hat, very monochromatic. I love this. All right, all my accessories are on. I got my little baby earrings on, got the little saddle bag, and got some white boots. All right, guys, that is the full transformation for 2022. Kelly and I are gonna take some photos in this outfit around the neighborhood. I honestly feel so cute. Literally, I feel like a 10 out of 10. I feel fucking hot. It's all thanks to eyelash extensions, a nice little facial, and some living proof texture spray. But let's go take some photos. I feel so cute. <laughs> Guys, Callie and I got some good photos. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're not like 10 out of 10 photos, but 
they're good enough i honestly got in a bad mood because some guy started honking at us like crazy and told me to go back where i came from which does not feel good being said to so after that i just gave up on taking photos and you can literally see the exact moment that guy said that to me and it was just so freaking rude so rude so not in the greatest mood I, I feel hot i look hot it's okay um just really annoyed go follow me on instagram if you guys want to see the ones i ended up posting so go follow me at miss tiffany ma so right now it's like 4 p.m matt and i don't have dinner plans until 9 p.m we're going to bestia so we're gonna go there around 9 so i'm just gonna hang out and do a little bit of work until it's time to leave for dinner so yeah i'll update you guys when there's food in my stomach and i feel Feel better because right now I'm upset. Hello guys, little update here. Matt and I are about to head out to Bestia. I changed a little bit and I also fixed my makeup and everything. I'm using this lip plumping lip gloss that I actually really enjoy. Normally when it comes to lip plumping glosses, I'm very picky with them. I really like this one I'm using. It's from Joa. But this is the fit. I'm wearing the same top from White Fox. I'm wearing these bottoms from ASOS. Shoes from Revolve. I thought I would just make this outfit a little bit more nighttime by changing the pants. Then I'm wearing this bag. Alrighty, we're gonna leave really soon. Hey guys, good morning. It's the next day right now and I was trying to figure out the best way to end this vlog because I realized that over the last 24 hours I was putting so much emphasis on my physical appearance and that's not what makes me happiest in life. That's not what gives me my self-worth or confidence at all and I just wanted to give that message to you guys that even though this video really has been catered around me changing myself to feel hotter, it's not all that matters in life and I think one of my goals for 2022 is to actually live more presently. That's because I find myself worrying about my future a lot, which causes me a lot of anxiety. And I just want to start living in the present, being happy and grateful in the present because I do realize I live a very abnormal life and I feel very lucky and happy that I get to live the way I do. I think everyone's goal for 2022 should be to live presently because if you don't live in the present, the future is never going to come. If you really think about it, all you have in life is your present because you can chase your future but your future will be your present if that makes any sense and maybe i'm maybe i'm just waking up and i have weird thoughts going on right now so yeah that's one of my goals this year i have other goals as well and i want to know your guys's new year's resolutions as well so if you guys made it to the end of this video and you guys are part of the end of the video squad comment down below some of your new year's resolutions for 2022 i know i don't fully believe in new year's resolutions i'm a firm believer in if you want to change start changing today instead of waiting for something to happen like a future event or something so some of my other goals for 2022 is read more books and to also diversify my portfolio right now i've been super into investing my money into different projects and another project i might want to start in 2022 is an nft project stay tuned for that i'm so excited i've been super into nfts and crypto i know crypto is a very risky <laughs> asset i'm not gonna lie but i've just been super into it and i really love the community behind the crypto and nft spaces and i just feel like i found a new community but i haven't really shared that with you guys make sure to look into crypto and nft projects i'm not giving you guys any financial advice i'm just saying that like it's really fun to feel like i'm a part of this community that's growing rapidly right now so yeah that is it with today's video make sure to leave your news resolutions down below also huge shout out to living proof for sponsoring today's video i love you guys so much feel free to sponsor more videos from me because i love your guys' products so much so make sure to check out the products i'll leave the links down below for you guys but that is it with today's video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in another video Video. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.